Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube. My name is Rachel. If you're new, um, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Um, I've been back home from the beach for a few days and I thought that I would film kind of an updated summer what I eat in a day. I know that you guys love to see what I've been eating over quarantine and all of that. Um, restaurants and things like that are opening up around in the south even for dine-in obviously with social distancing and stuff so it's like half capacity um but i'm still trying to eat a ton at home cook a ton at home um eat healthy and all that so i thought that i would update you guys on what i'm eating currently um in a day so i just i showed you guys i just made a lemon water i'm waiting on it to cool down because it's so hot i got a new tea kettle i'll link it for you guys i love it um, but it just makes it really really hot so sometimes I have to wait a while for it to cool down but I just took one of these apple cider vinegar shots I recently started doing I normally took like the immunity like gut health and stuff which I still love doing that but I've recently been loving apple cider vinegar but it's so hard to get down on your own because it is so gross so this one is a vinegar juice drink it is cold pressed fruit and apple cider vinegar. So I have this and these. So Fresco, I have a um, discount. If you use Rach Ratkey, you can go on their website and get some money off on some juices and stuff if you guys are looking for some new juices or immunity shots and things. So um, I'm gonna sit here, it's so beautiful out and I'm going to enjoy the morning before it gets to be like 85, 90 degrees today, Georgia. Um, yeah, I'm just relaxing, enjoying the morning. Sarah and Ben are inside. Um, it's Sunday, so it's just a kind of relaxing day. It's 9.40, so I'm going to make some homemade bagels for breakfast. My friend Maddie, she showed me the recipe how to make them, and I've been, like, obsessed with making them. So I'm going to make those. I also think I'm going to treat myself and go to Starbucks for coffee this morning because we're out of Nespresso pods, and I ordered them on Amazon, but they're taking forever to get in because, obviously, all the shipping and stuff is delayed. So, um... I'm gonna drink this. I'm probably gonna run and get some coffee, just some me time, get in the car, get out of the house. That's always fun. Um, and then show you guys what I eat all today. So I hope you guys all enjoy today's video. Just got to the Starbucks drive thru. Um, I also need like Greek yogurt for the bagels, so I just decided I was gonna come out and grab that from the grocery store. But I just brought my little lemon water with me. It's been so hot, I've barely been able to drink it. It's like finally cooled down. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get some coffee. Like I said, I ordered espresso pods, but they're taking a million years to get in. I also need some chapstick so bad, and I only have some with sunscreen. Also, what is this lighting? Better than nothing, right? I feel like I haven't washed my hair since I got my hair recolored like five days ago so literally this slick back bun is staying slick back just because of grease like you guys that's so gross but also kind of nice i don't have to use any product <laughs> get the natural slick back grease look you know um could i get a grande ice caramel cloud macchiato yeah absolutely what else for you uh that's it Awesome, Rachel. It's going to be 5.30 at the window. We will see you here. Thank you. My recent Starbucks order is kind of different than like my normal at-home coffee because when I'm at home, I always just make an iced oat milk latte with like a little bit of vanilla sometimes or no flavoring at all. But at Starbucks, I've been getting lately been obsessed with the cloud caramel macchiato which is so bad for you but i'm just treating myself because it's sunday but normally i would just get like an ice vanilla latte with either like skim milk or something i'm so disappointed in starbucks why do you not have oat milk yet i don't understand maybe like the west coast has oat milk already at starbucks because they're always like ahead of everyone and in the south we take a little a little bit to get on trend but um i'm just so confused why we still have no oat milk at starbucks so if anyone could tell me why or if there even is oat milk there's probably been oat milk this whole time and i'm just like not even ordering it also when you order your drink you they like don't touch your cup so they hand it to you in like a box and you have to like take it out and one time there was a car in front of me and he grabbed it by the lid and his whole drink went everywhere and now i'm scared every time i do that that's gonna happen so i like slowly grab it and the workers like looking at me like i'm a freak <laughs> thank you she definitely was looking at the camera the whole time. I'm pretty sure she was like, what is wrong with this girl? Did you guys see how I had to like grab it like that? 
it's crazy. This is the drink I've been getting. It's so good. Ice caramel cloud macchiato. It's not good for you by any means, but it's just a little treat. So if you're looking for a little Starbucks treat, get that because it's good. I need to finish this lemon water before I drink my coffee, but I'm gonna head to the grocery store and then I'll show you guys how I make my breakfast. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store. I literally just picked up a few things that we needed around the house. I got some of this Greek yogurt. I actually have never tried this brand, but I saw that it was only two grams of sugar and a lot of the other brands have a lot of sugar in their Greek yogurt, so I thought I would give this a try. So this is gonna go in the bagels I'm about to make. I got two cucumbers. These are my favorite. I think they're English cucumbers. I absolutely love. A loaf of sourdough bread, my favorite. I got some of these jumbo blueberries. They just looked really, really good. I got some gum. This is my favorite kind of gum. Um, and then I got some chive whipped cream cheese. I love chives, and I figured this would be good on the bagels. Got some avocado, we are running out. And then this is my recent new obsession. I have kind of one of these every night for dessert after dinner, if I have like a sweet tooth. And they're so, so good. Love them. So I'm gonna go ahead, I need to preheat the oven to 375. This is kind of like a late breakfast, but since I had a coffee and stuff, I'm kind of fine. We also had a late dinner last night, so. I'm gonna make some bagels with cream cheese and I'll probably have some blueberries. I'm gonna put these popsicles away and then I'll show you guys how I make these um, bagels. They're just homemade, everything um, bagels. And I got the recipe from my friend Maddie Stahl. She has a food blog, I can link it for you guys. Um, super good recipes and stuff that are healthy and stuff, so these have been my new go-to. Instead of buying bagels, I've been making them. I'm not a baker, I don't know what's gone into me, but these are literally so easy. Sorry if you can't really hear me, the oven's preheating, but this is, let's see, one, two, five ingredient bagel. So what you need is a little tablespoon of sugar, you need, um, Flour, you can use obviously gluten-free or whatever kind of flour you prefer. I'm just using regular all-purpose flour. Um, you need Greek yogurt. This is the one I got, I just showed you guys. You need salt and then um, baking powder. And then for the toppings, you can either leave this on or off, just kind of depends on your preference with this type of seasoning, but you put everything but the bagel seasoning on the top this one is from trader joe's it's my favorite but i know a lot of other brands have kind of started like this one is from kroger i think and they have started doing um everything but the bagel but i just like don't think it tastes the exact same but it's still good so if you don't have a trader joe's around you you can still get it pretty easily i know a lot of grocery stores have it these days so i'll put all the measurements in the description so you guys can get it right because i don't remember it off the top of my head but i'm going to mix all this together and then i'll show you guys what I do. You literally, like, there's no certain order. You just put it all together, mix it up. You kind of have to put some flour on your hands because it does get a little messy. And then um, I just roll it into a ball, flatten it a little bit, and poke a hole through the middle to make, like, a bagel. And then um, pull it apart. You brush the top with egg whites, and then you sprinkle this on top. So I'll show you guys. They bake for about 20 minutes, and they're so good. Okay, so what I'll do now, the batter is all kind of doughy-like. I'll cover my hands in flour and then I have a baking sheet lined so the dough doesn't stick. And then I'll show you guys how I form them. Flour on your hands like this. Uh, I just kind of take that size, I'll roll it, and then I'll kind of like go like that and then I'll make a little hole. They're not supposed to look the prettiest. They're obviously homemade, so. My sleeves are getting in the way. Probably should wear a short sleeve shirt when I'm doing this, but. So this is what we're working with. So cute, I made three. They're kind of like mid-sized, but you'll see after they're done cooking that they kind of pop up a little. But I have just a little bit of an egg white right here. You wanna brush the top. So the seasoning that I'm about to put on sticks and then they get like that golden color. Okay, so final thing before it goes in the oven, I have my oven preheated to 375. I always preheat it before I start making it because it obviously takes a while. So these will go in for 20, 25 minutes and then they're finished. 
I just see the bangles. Say hey to the camera. What is up? Oh, damn, Shawty! <laughs> Don't they look good? Okay, final breakfast. I'm gonna have it finish up my coffee with it. It is, what time? It's 11 o'clock. It's 11.15, so this is kind of like a really late breakfast just because I had to go to the store and stuff. So this will hold me over till about lunchtime, and then I'll have lunch. I'll show you guys, but so good and yummy and such an easy little breakfast. Look, who came over for the bagel? Brunch. No, <laughs> it's not. You want cream cheese, regular, or chive cream cheese? Uh, just regular cream cheese, please. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> That's really good. Do you like it? <laughs> Espresso pods just came in the mail, which would have been clutch this morning, but it's okay. I ordered a new package, so it comes with three instead of two, and it's all of... Um, what is this one called? It's this dark one. It's called Scuro, I think that's how you say it. It's a double shot and it's level eight intensity. Finally have an espresso pod. Woo! Oh, here we go. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. When you have three people living in the house and everyone has one every day, you feel like you're going through them so quick. And sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I have um, more than one a day, so. But it's around two o'clock, I'm about to make lunch. I don't know what to make, honestly. I'm not that hungry, which is weird because I really haven't had much to eat today, so. It's around two o'clock, I think I'm going to make just like a cold cut sandwich. I just got this fresh sourdough bread from Publix this morning, you guys saw, so I think I'm gonna do just bread, um, salami, it's like my favorite, some pepper jack cheese, and then I love like all the toppings on my sandwich, so lettuce, tomato, red onion, cucumber, and then this is the trick. You have to add honey mustard on your sandwich. It's so good. I love it. It gives it a little sweetness, um, and then salt and pepper, so I'm just gonna throw this together. I'm not like super hungry, which is weird because I literally have only had a coffee one bagel and like five blueberries today, but some days I just am not as hungry as others, so I just listen to whatever my body's telling me. I think it's because last night we had a late dinner and I ate a lot of chips and salsa. So I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna go upstairs to finish editing and then I'll probably have a snack. I also need to fill up my hydro flask, but I can't find it anywhere because I think I left it at the beach. I have a big glass of water because I literally haven't had one ounce of water today and it's already two o'clock so that's so bad. So I'll fill this up. I'm gonna do some lime in my water. That's my favorite. Some days I'm really good at um, keeping on track with like my water and stuff and then other days I'm not. So I mean it's just real life people. I hate when people are like, I drink three liters of water a day, and I'm like, that's like every single day. You really do. That's really, it's impressive. <laughs> okay, here's my sandwich. I got my sandwich and my water. I'm gonna sit here and eat this. I feel like a sandwich is something really easy and quick to throw together for lunch that's still like somewhat healthy. Obviously like the bread and stuff isn't the best, like I could probably choose better, but it's good, it's quick, it's easy, and I feel like it's like very summery to have a sandwich. I feel like I'm always eating sandwiches during the summer and stuff, so super good. I have salami, pepper jack cheese, tomato, red onion, cucumber, lettuce, and then honey mustard and salt and pepper, and it's so good. Okay, it's been about an hour. I just uploaded a video. I have a call with my management in like 10 minutes, so I wanna have a coffee while I'm on the phone and just because knowing that all these espresso pods are in here, I can't help it. So, filled up my ice and then I'm gonna be using this new oat milk that I recently got from 
Costco. I got like a six pack of these for like $9, you guys. Costco has like amazing prices. So it's just non-dairy oat milk, obviously. And um, the ingredients are really, really clean. So I'm excited to try this. Oat milk in this frother. Obviously shake it up a lot. And then I'm going to add, I always just add a little splash of like some type of flavor creamer because I'm not a huge fan of no flavor in my coffee. I haven't gotten to that level yet. So I do like half and half and then frost it when it's blue. It's obviously frothing it cold. So do that. I'll link my espresso machine for you guys. I love it. I just hate the cost of the pods, but I mean, it's worth it compared to like going to Starbucks or getting coffee every day, not from home. So, so good. good. I need to add some more ice because it melts a little bit, but I like that oat milk. Sometimes I feel like certain oat milks are a little too watery, but that one still has like some flavor. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, bless you. I'll link these silicone straws for you guys. I recently just started using these. I normally used like the metal ones with the silicone tip, which I still use every now and then because I like those, but something about this like all silicone one is really, really good. Okay, just got out of the shower. I just got into comfy clothes. I'm wearing this cutest tie-dye subscriber sent me. Thank you, it's so cute. Okay, tonight for dinner is going to be a whatever I have in the fridge. I don't really have anything planned, but I really am in the mood for like some sauteed vegetables. So I'm hoping to find that I'm cooking just for myself tonight. Um, it's storming really bad. So also I look like so tan. It looks like I've been in the sun all day and I have. Okay, so in this pan, I just have some potatoes and cauliflower. I don't know, it's a weird combo, but I just was into it. I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit more, and then I'm gonna do salt, pepper, maybe some like garlic powder, I don't really know. But then I'm gonna finish it off in the oven, and then over here, I have a little salad going. Um, and I'll put all my veggies right here. Simple, easy, nothing much to dinner tonight. You could always add shrimp, you could always add chicken if you want like some type of protein. I'm just like not really in the mood tonight, but I'll show you guys the finished product when it's finished. So I have a little bit of olive oil, just regular olive oil, and then I'm gonna do lemon. Are you making your own? Dressing. And then pepper. And then salt, and you literally just whisk it together. It's just like really light and refreshing instead of having like heavy, a heavy dressing and putting all your calories into your dressing. So just whisk it and then. Is it good? I might add some, just like a little. <laughs> a little? Uh huh. That was not a little. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you don't talk behind the camera. It's just, you just have to be quiet. <laughs> okay, and here I have this. I think it's about to be done. I don't want to get too close. It's really hot. Okay. Also, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you should really get one because it's life changing. Where's the protein? No protein tonight. Because it was like a makeshift dinner. Can we get a close-up? <laughs> oh, now you want a close-up? Good, right? Mm -hmm. I just sauteed it on the stove top for a while and then I just finished it off in the oven for like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna have this with my salad. It's gonna be good. So here's final dinner. 
salad and a bunch of veggies just simple easy clean ingredients um like i said you can add like chicken to this if you do like grilled chicken or you could do like sauteed shrimp would be really good i just wasn't really in the mood um tonight but super simple and easy and i just threw this together with things that were left over in my refrigerator it's been a little bit i'm gonna have one of these popsicles that i got at the grocery store this morning that i showed you guys i have been obsessed with this brand especially the lime and the sugar is like kind of low on them i mean obviously it's a popsicle so it's not the best but i have a sweet tooth right now so i'm gonna have this um i'm gonna fill up my water i always end off my days with like water in bed or obviously dessert. Dylan, what do you end your day with? Um, Glass of whiskey? No, no. What are you doing? Playing spades. <laughs> Wanted Dylan to have pop school with me so we could do a little cheers, but who doesn't like sweets? Who doesn't like sweets? Trying to watch my figure. These yeah. dudes are cheating. Are, they, are those your friends or no. you don't know who they are? This is just like an online, like. Oh, I'm gonna end off the video. We're watching 90 Day Fiance and then we're gonna watch the, what are we watching, Michael Jordan? You're watching 90 Day Fiance. I'm watching, <laughs> but what are we about to watch? What is it? It's called The Last Dance. But what, like, what is it, Michael Jordan doc? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that's what we're doing tonight. So thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. This is kind of just like a, what I've been eating in a day during quarantine. Obviously, it was kind of thrown together and not really planned meals, but I feel like that's like normal in real life and not every day you're having like this extravagant meal. So I feel like that was a little bit relatable for you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and we'll see you soon.